What's up? Today I'm going to show you how to find uh, the layout for an arch for a desired opening and height um, using your Construction Pro calculator. So we're going to try a number of 76 inch 3 slash 4 quarter inch run cord length with the opening of desired. Now we're going to divide that by four so we get even segments that are manageable to lay out the arch so that'll equal 19 and 3 16 we always want to end in uh, we always want to divide by an even number so we're going to divide by 20 so we're going to clear and divide 76 inch three quarter divided by 20 equals 3 and 13 16 so that's going to be our segments so what we need to do is store that for our on centers. So we hit store five and that changes it to three and three three and thirteen sixteenths on center. So we're gonna store that. And that's gonna be our on centers. So we're going to now get the numbers we need to lay out for the arch. For our segments so what we're going to do is add the 3 and 3 sixteenths and that's going to give us 11 and 11 and 7 and 11 sixteenths so basically we're going to keep hitting the equal button and that's going to give us a layout for each segment so our first segment was 3 and 13 sixteenths our second is 7 and 11 sixteenths we hit the equal again we get 11 and a half Hit the equal again, 15 and 3 eighths. Hit the equal again, 19, 3 sixteenths. 23, 26 and 7 eighths. 30, 11 sixteenths. 34, 9 sixteenths. 38 and 3 eighths, which is our actual center of the arch. That's why we need to divide by an even number when we figure out our segments. So we keep hitting the equal button and we'll get all our segment lines that we will lay out on the bottom of the arch layout until we get to our 76 and 3 quarters. All right, so now we need to change our radius from the outside to inside. To do that, we hit Convert Store, and that gets us all the um, preset features on it. So we continue to hit that until we get to the AW. Now mine's already set on inside, but if you hit the plus, it'll get you to the outside. I hit the plus again, I get to the inside, and I hit store. So, now we want to figure out the actual measurements for the cord segment lines. So we had our 76 inch 3 slash 4 cord length, your opening as the run. Now we're going to use 10 and 5 eighths as our rise. That's going to be the height of the arch. Next we're going to hit our convert arc and that's going to get us different dimensions and figures that'll uh, pertain to this particular arch. So we continue to hit the arch, tells you different degrees, the cord length, segment, the pi function, rise is 10 and 5 eighths which we figured the on center, which we preset at 3 and 13 sixteenths. Now we start to get into our segment line measurements. So out of the center, at, we're going to continue with our first two lines that lay out left and right of center. So at our center line, we are 10 and 5 eighths. So from each line left and right, we measure up from the bottom 10 and a half inches. We'd hit the arc button again, and our second measurements are going to be 10 and a quarter which is working out of center left and right we'd mark the next two segment lines at 10 and a quarter and we continue on working our way out of the center on left to right marking each side the same as we continue down till we get to the very beginning which brings us to zero so we had 20 segmented lines that we divided by and we've got 10 layouts that we have to figure in there and each one of those will be pulled up from the bottom 
on our 3 and 13 sixteenths layout lines that we laid out. Alright, so I laid this out on my workbench. It may be hard to see, but I'm going to show it to you anyways. Now basically, you can see my segmented lines there. Let's say 3 and 13 sixteenths carries all the way across. And this one here, you can see as I've marked it as center. And that was the 38 and 3 eighths mark. And that's the one you're going to work out of the center, and that's why we divide by an even number. And you can see each one of these has a little check line where the height off the bottom is in reference to those AD numbers that we had. So basically, you had 2 and a quarter, 4 and a sixteenth, 5 and 11 sixteenths all the way up till we got our center mark which was at 10 and 5 eighths right there off the bottom. But you can see how the arch is kind of laying out there. And all you do is once you get all those those marks laid out on the segment line, you just take a straight edge and connect all the dots. And basically that'll give you a, a nice radius arch that uh, works out to the desired opening that you have. So that's it. Basically, that's how you lay out the arch with your Construction Master Pro. Make sure you uh, clear your calculator after you um, enter these preset numbers in that you use for this particular arch. Alright, thanks. See ya. Bye.